And after weeks of pushing, Channel 9 has answers from a nursing home that now has at least 102 positive cases of COVID-19. Some families told Channel 9 they didn't know about the outbreak at the Citadel in Salisbury until we reported it. Another family said things there are so chaotic that their elderly aunt died and no one called to tell them about it. Channel 9's Tina Terry learned the facility has sent a letter to families saying in part, I am sorry that this is happening. Now the company that owns the Citadel is inside of this building behind us here and on Friday the CEO sent a letter to families apologizing for reaching out to them so late. In that three page letter sent to families, the CEO described the situation inside the Citadel in Salisbury, saying in part it was like a freight train. We literally went from one case to 50 in 72 hours. No one did anything wrong to create this. CEO Kim Morrow told Channel 9 they learned about the first case at the Citadel April 1st. She says at that time employees moved into full PPE, notified families and worked out a plan with the health department to test everyone. She says now ill staff are asked to stay home and workers can be seen wearing face masks, eye protection, gowns and gloves. But for weeks, employees complained that they started using protective gear too late. Families complained they found out about the outbreak on the news. And one man told me his elderly aunt, Dorothy Cleveland, died and no one from the facility called him. He had to hear it from a local funeral director who talked to Channel 9 today. Yeah, I've been doing this for 32, 32 years and I have never seen anything like this happen. It seems to me that the ball was dropped when Miss Cleveland passed. The CEO sent a statement today saying in part, we have spoken with a family member that you previously interviewed. We grieve with this family and we are carefully reviewing our procedures in light of this situation. And that family still doesn't know if their loved one had the virus when she died. And that letter to families from the CEO said that the increase in cases is not due to increased exposure, but because nursing homes received testing late. Back to you at the desk.